Um, some of you have expressed interest in seeing my artwork, and I'd be happy to show you. Uh, I haven't done that much artwork for a while, so most of this is from last year. Um, so it's all in acrylics. I should have learned oils, I know, but one of these days I'm going to get around to it. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to start out with a naked French woman. Uh, this is this is a model that I did for um, an art class that I took in high school. Um, she sat here for she sat um, in her spot for about 40 minutes, and uh, and during that time, my uh, my teacher and I were talking about this artist called Ingres, and for some reason, I thought that I was the expert on French, and so I said, I think it's pronounced Ingres. But um, it's not at all pronounced Anka, it's actually Inka. And uh, in the meantime, this French lady was sitting here having to endure my EDC. <laughs> um, so that was a little bit embarrassing, but I talked to her afterwards and she was pretty nice, considering, you know. Um, here's a music artist that I really liked for a while, um, Regina Spector. Um, I could be a hipster and say that I like her old stuff better, um, and I think I will, because her old stuff is a little bit more raw and kind of, I don't know, it has more passion to me. Um, and the last one I'm going to show, I know only three, but they're my three favorites, so this is my absolute favorite that I've done. It's more experimental than the other ones. Um, this is a girl I met in college, actually the first friend that I made, and um, I, I divided the, the painting up into little squares, and I did each one just a little bit differently. I don't know if you can tell if I do a close-up. Um, yeah. So, this was definitely a lot of fun to do. I like her orange fingers because I did this from a photograph, and um, this was right after she dyed her hair orange, and her fingers were kind of orange all the time, like she just ate cheese. I don't know. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's all. Um,